It can be quite daunting when propaganda is being spread on anyone. And recently, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, along with the Jamaica Defense Force, came onto the property of Kahal Yahweh in Albion, St. James, based on allegations fed by the Child Development Agency. CVM came on the scene, and so did passerbys, and took footage of what unfolded. Now, here's the footage posted by CVM TV. Gates heavily padlocked, and the police trying to negotiate with the operators of this church, Yahweh Nisi, who have now broken out in song. They have been here for hours, acting on received reports that several girls are being held against their will and have been prevented from making contact with anyone outside the establishment. Armed with this information, they arrived at the church asking the operators to let them in, but they refused. The police had no other choice but to take action. On the compound, several girls were seen dressed in white and blue loose-fitting garments, the men in khaki pants and blue shirts, chanting Yahweh Nisi. When the police tried to intervene, this happened. Eventually, they were able to rescue three girls from the building, hoping to return for others. Sources tell CVM Live that three other girls were rescued some time ago, and residents are raising concerns about the living conditions of those who live in the tents on the compound. There are reports that some girls have been abused. Beat them or, or some, and, and let them marry to the elder ones in the church. CVM Live has also received reports that many of the girls are children of those who have joined the church. The girls allegedly attend a school at the church and are married to male members at age 16. She is pregnant! She is pregnant! Pregnant! She is over 30 years old! Pregnant! And this is what they are doing! The operators say they have done nothing wrong. We truly believe that we have been treated unfairly by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the Child Development Agency, and as a result today, as they have come again, trying to take more of our children, we have decided to take a stand. Khadija Thomas, CVM Live. Now, the reporter stated that several girls were dressed in loose-fitted garments, and note, men in khaki pants and blue shirts. After really analyzing the video, it is clearly seen that those men are actually boys. Is there a reason as to why the reporter would make mention of the girls in the loose-fitted clothes as they are girls, but those in the khaki pants and blue shirts are referred to as men when the video clearly shows that they are boys? Now, I noticed that the news reporter stated that the girls were being held against their will. Obviously, girls were seen dancing and clapping without hindrance. Which is it, the girls seen clapping and dancing or held against their will? Now, if anyone was being rescued from an abusive or an unsafe environment, you would think that they would be happy to go with their rescuers. But plainly, the video shows that these girls don't want to be rescued. Can you blame them? I mean, look at the clip. They are being slammed into the gate, pushed to the ground, grabbed by the neck and crutch, hauled over the fence. I mean, it is clear that abusive force is being used by the Jamaica security forces on these girls, who they claim are being abused while being removed from the property and not a building as stated by the reporter. Apparently, a 30-odd year old pregnant woman was also being mistreated by the security forces as a Kahal Yahweh member emphatically expressed, though one would believe she was speaking about one of the girls. It is clear that a lot of editing was done on the video to convey a specific message like this one. Notice how the editor cuts from the scene of the girls on the ground to the woman shouting she's pregnant. 
She is pregnant! She is pregnant! Pregnant! She is over 38 years old! Pregnant! And this is what they are doing! But wait, inside footage was obtained and it clearly shows a different view on the whole matter. Congratulations for those who have made it this far. This is getting interesting. Take a look at the clip and let's analyze it together. Do you notice a man with a child in his hand and an officer attacking while the child is in his hand? Do you notice another officer using pepper spray on the man while he's holding the child? Finally, violently flooring him all this while with the child in his hand. Do you believe the situation could have been handled differently with a child involved? And do you believe that physical and psychological damages were done to the child? Here, we can see the children who are said to be abused. They are resisting the help of the security forces that are there to rescue them. A woman behind the gate dragged the headpiece from off the girl as she hastens to put it back on. Look at it. What does her head garment have to do with abuse? Or is this outright religious discrimination? Women crying, children crying, allegedly abused crying, not to be taken from their parents by the CDA and the security forces. Here's an extract from the Jamaica Gleaner published Wednesday, November 6, 2019. On Tuesday, the police had to call for backup from the Jamaica Defense Force after they were attacked by enraged believers who used sticks, stones, and their hands in a failed bid to prevent the removal of three siblings whose grandmother had made a report to the Child Protection and Family Services Agency. Based on what you've seen, is it true that sticks and stones were used in a bid to block the security forces? One thing is for sure, there were no sticks or stones in this video. We have to seek truth for ourselves amidst all the noise and confusion. There are two sides to every story. While you come to your conclusions, here is an extract from the Jamaica Gleaner dated November 7th, 2019. A policeman with whom the Gleaner spoke said that prior to the two security operations last Thursday and two days ago, law enforcers could not confirm any abuse at the Kahal Yahweh complex, which they had visited before to investigate complaints. When we went to the compound, it seemed like a homeschooling facility, said the police inspector. <laughs> 